Grasshoppers may not be the power-hungry thugs like some of us learned from the movies, but they are still some of the more destructive pests known around the world. Not only do they target grass, but they'll also invade gardens and damage crops. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of grasshoppers from your lawn so your grass and ornamentals can remain pest-free. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about grasshopper control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There are many different kinds of grasshoppers around the world, with about 11,000 known species. They grow to varying lengths from 1 to 7 centimeters long. They have long rear ends, powerful hind legs, two pairs of wings, compound eyes, and two antennae. Their body colors can include greens, browns, and grays. There is one kind of grasshopper that many people may be familiar with, locusts. Locusts are a type of grasshopper that normally act like other grasshoppers when populations are low. Most grasshoppers are solitary, spending most of their adult lives foraging for food alone. However, when the local population becomes dense enough, locusts become more gregarious and undergo numerous drastic changes. These changes include changes to body shape and color, fertility, physiology, and survival. For example, the migratory locust exhibits all of these changes. A couple of these changes are its body color changes from green to brown and black, and it will form massive swarms with other migratory locusts to act as one entity. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Grasshoppers prefer to live in areas with a lot of grass and other low plants. In residential areas, they'll be among tall grasses, in gardens, and around shrubbery because they don't like to be out in the open. Look for active grasshoppers or signs of grasshopper damage. Walk around your lawn to spot any hopping or flying grasshoppers you may have disturbed. Check the grass blades in your turf and the leaves in your garden for chew marks. Grasshoppers are most active during the day, but can occasionally feed at night. Be sure to note where you've found grasshoppers or their damage, as you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pests and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of grasshoppers in your lawn and garden, you'll need to use an insecticide that's labeled for grasshopper control, like Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate that's made with bifenthrin. This product is used to control over 70 labeled pests, including grasshoppers. If you've found signs of grasshopper activity on your property, you'll need to broadcast a solution of Reclaim IT over your entire lawn and your garden ornamentals at a rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. To start, calculate your treatment area's square footage by measuring the area's length and width and multiplying them together. You'll use this to determine how much product you need to use. Since you'll be making a wide variety of treatments to control grasshoppers, we recommend you use a handheld pump sprayer due to its versatility in treatment applications. To mix Reclaim IT, fill your pump sprayer with a half gallon of water and add your measured amount of product. Add the rest of the water up to the one gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Proceed to broadcast Reclaim IT evenly over your lawn. Use a fan setting to ensure the grass blades become coated with the solution and apply the turf to the point of wet but not runoff. Once you've treated your lawn, you'll then need to treat your garden and other ornamental plants. Please note that Reclaim IT should not be sprayed onto plants meant for consumption as food. Use a fan setting to evenly coat your ornamental's leaves. Be sure to spray the undersides of leaves as well. Once you've sprayed your lawn and garden, you can then proceed to make a perimeter treatment around your home to stop pests like grasshoppers from invading indoors. For a perimeter application, mix a solution of Reclaim IT at a rate of 0.33 to 1 whole fluid ounce of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. First, spray the entry points you've noted around the outside of your home, like doors, windows, vent openings, and other voids in the wall. Once you've treated entry points, conduct a perimeter treatment around your structure. Start at one point and continue to treat along the outside by going 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out. Avoid overlapping this application with your prior treatments. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. 
Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop grasshopper activity is to make sure it can't happen. Since grasshoppers are attracted to overgrown grass, you'll need to mow more regularly while still maintaining healthy turf. Mow once a week to a proper height of 3 to 4 inches. This will keep your grass trim while it's at a proper height to promote good root growth. Next, be sure to water your lawn properly. Water your lawn with 1 inch of water in the morning once a week. The water will help drive your turf's roots deeper into the soil, encouraging healthier grass that more easily fights off pests and disease. If you're experiencing grasshopper activity indoors, then you may need to go around your structure's perimeter and close any openings with a combination of copper mesh and caulk. Proper use of these products ensure that most invasive pests cannot do so, including grasshoppers or even rodents. Finally, be sure to keep up with reapplications of Reclaim IT every three months to maintain control of grasshoppers and other pests year-round. Grasshoppers are widely known pests that will devour entire lawns and gardens, but there are ways to manage and control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop grasshoppers from eating your turf, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.